Just a heads up, I sell t-shirts, pillows, sweatshirts, a bunch of cool stuff. Plus, I have worksheets for all of my videos. You can check out that stuff at the link in the description box. That was totally more than 10 seconds, I'm sorry. Sunny D, purple stuff. Oh my god, it finally happened. What happened? We've officially run out of topics. What? I assume we're doing an entire video on what? Easter? Breakfast? Omelets? Easter breakfast omelets? Huh? Pants? It's an entire video about pants? No. Or perhaps just eggs in general. Well, technically we are going to talk about an egg-shaped thing. Is it your head? What? Do I really have an egg-shaped head? You know what? You kind of do, yeah. Oh no. Gee, thanks. But anyway, did you guys know that there's really a planet out there that's shaped like an egg? No, I didn't know that. But I don't even know how to wear a shirt. Or pants. Wait a second. There's an egg-shaped planet? What, did the planet-making machine run out of ideas or something? What's next? A square-shaped planet? A pants-shaped planet? An egg-shaped planet? Oh, wait, you guys said that. Well, most of those aren't really possible, but this egg-shaped planet is kind of interesting. Its name is Wasp-12b. Oh no, I'm allergic to wasps. And cat dander. And tree bark, but mostly wasps. Relax, its name actually has nothing to do with wasps. You would think that every planet has a name, but that's not true. I'm gonna name you... Absolutely nothing. Well, all planets that are discovered have a designation? They aren't given a full normal name like Mars or Earth. The same is the case with WASP-12b. The first part of its name, WASP, comes from the group that discovered it. WASP is short for Wide Angle Search for Planets. They're an international group that created a program with massive cameras that continuously monitors the sky to detect distant exoplanets. Well, why throw the number 12 after it? What is it, their baseball number? Huh? The number of TikTok followers they have? Yeah. Or maybe it's a pants size? Relax, I'm getting there. The number 12 means it was the 12th star that this group has discovered. To date, the Super Wasp cameras have found hundreds of stars and exoplanets. Wasp 12 is a yellow dwarf star located over 1,200 light years away in the constellation Auriga. Its mass and radius is actually really similar to our own sun. Okay, but what about the letter B? As you may recall earlier, I'm allergic to bees. And cat dander. And tree bark, but mostly bees. Pump the brakes, that's next. The lowercase letter B in the name stands for the order in which the planet was found. The first planet found is always named B. So why is it shaped like an egg? Well, that's because its star is eating it. WASP-12b is commonly referred to as a hot Jupiter. It's called this because it's made of gas like Jupiter and is extremely close to the sun. It's so close that it reaches temperatures over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, because it orbits so close to its star, it's being torn apart. Gravity is causing enormous tidal forces, which are stretching the planet into the shape of an egg. What? It takes this alien world only 1.1 days to completely circle its sun, which is slowly stripping away and devouring the planet's atmosphere. In 10 million years, this alien world can be completely consumed. Are there any other egg-shaped planets? Why do you ask? I don't know. Maybe I want to make a gigantic omelet or something. Well, actually, there's a dwarf planet out there that's very egg-like, too. There's a dwarf planet called Haumea beyond the orbit of Neptune in an area called the Kuiper Belt. Ooh. This region of the solar system is believed to contain many comets, asteroids, and other small bodies made largely of ice. Haumea is one of the many objects in the belt. Haumea was named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility and is believed to be made of rock with a coating of ice. It's thought to have gotten its funky shape from a collision with other objects in the belt. Wow, I didn't think we'd get through this whole video without seeing an actual wow. Uh-oh, didn't Steve say he was allergic to bees or something? Nah, he'll be fine.
Nice. How you feeling? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you can, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at those names down there. I'd really appreciate it. But I especially appreciate my patrons on Patreon. Especially Mr. Nicholas, Miss Kay's third grade class, Creative Devin and Zach T, Leif Anderson Miller, Arthur Watson, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Henry and Walter, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Ari, a.k.a. R. Tank, Gavin Meidel, Dom and Ollie, Breton and Cosette, Mrs. Esslinger's third grade class, Elijah Robert, Dean Scandalakis, Chris F., Gwen, Iggy, Elowen, and Addie, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Wynn and Ian Pirtle, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Henry and Lucas Teeple, Audie and Riley Biley, Ethan Grainer, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Aria and Kieran, Kai Kim, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Lennon McCartney Jones Page Avalon and Cash, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, Tasso and Leonidas Yant, The Rivard Boys, Matthew and James Mondiello, Evan Lee, Amelia Murray, Jack and Lucas, Michelle and Conrad, Annie and David in Pennsylvania, Wesley C., Harry, Max, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Evan Gray, The Three Ultimate Carbones, and Zeno the Shark. Want to get your name in a video? Visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, see behind the scenes videos, and like I said, get your name in a video. Check the description box for a link. Don't forget to try to find the hidden coupon code. It's hidden somewhere in the video. You can use it to buy stuff from my Teespring store. Thank you for